Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? We are just gonna jump right to it. Right now I'm cutting up some onions and as you can see I have some red peppers, green peppers and some thyme on the side. I'm cutting it in big chunks, big chunks. I love my onions to be big chunks so I can see my vegetables. Um, I'm cutting them up. I'm dicing them up real good. I love to cut them up this way This is the best way for me. And yes, I'm cutting it up on a plastic plate um, My cutting board was too far away from me and I was like, you know what forget it Let me just go ahead and put it in this plate. You guys will understand when you're home You do what you want to do <laughs> So with my green peppers right now, I'm just cutting them up like long I love them long. I love the way um, I can see my food. Like, I, I don't know. I don't like dicing up my food that fine. You know, some people do and I don't. But I'm cutting them up. From here, you can see that I already diced up my peppers, my onions, and I'm ready to go. This is enough for me and my husband, though. Here I am just putting medium high heat. Um, I'm just grabbing my uh, oil here. Can you see my bottle? <laughs> I got it from Dollar Tree. Um, right now I'm just gonna pour it out into my frying pan. I use vegetable oil and uh, the vegetable oil, I do not discriminate against any other oil, but I just like vegetable oil. It's cheaper. <laughs> but I'm using it and I'm coating it all on, at the bottom of my pan. From here, I'm using my special sauce, Ippies. I love this on everything I do. Um, right now, I'm gonna use two tablespoons. Two, yeah, two tablespoons. Um, I love this on everything that I do. You're not a professional if you don't tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Here we go, the magic fish, salt fish. I already pre-cooked this meat and um, it's boiled down and unsalted. And I'm gonna take some and put it in the pan. While the A piece uh, is frying up, I go ahead and pour the whole thing. I love that my A piece can go ahead and like emerge with the salt fish, you know? Right now it's unsalted, so I want the flavor to really sit in through my fish. And I'm pressing it down a little bit so that my, you know, fish can have the flavor. Remember, it's onions, peppers, everything. So I'm taking a little piece of the fish, mm, and it tastes good. <laughs> it tastes really, really good. Um, that's it. So I'm tasting my fish, and now I'm, get, I'm getting my peppers, my onions. I had washed them, maybe that's the reason why you see a little speck of water. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up with my salt fish. Um, at the meantime, all the flavor is gonna be infused together. I am not a genius or anything. I just love how everything comes together. They really, really do. So I'm mixing them up so that everything can go ahead and fry together. And I'm putting in some of my thyme. I love fresh thyme in my food. I cannot, I'm obsessed with it. I just love fresh thyme in my food. So I'll go ahead and put some fresh thyme. Right now I'm grabbing some whole clove. I love whole clove. There's nothing you can tell me about whole clove not bringing out the best of the food. And it, it really do, it brings out the best of the food. I'm taking some out and I'm grabbing Three. One, two, three. I don't put too much because it's overpowering the food. I don't put too much. Can't forget your red peppers. Yes, you want this to have a little kick to it. You know, when you bite into it, it has a little kick. I'm just doing a little bit. I'm not putting too much. Just a little bit. That's it. I love a fresh squeezed lemon in my food. It gives you that get cake that mmm what is this something is mmm different but I love to put some lemon juice in my food fresh 
I'm gonna add some tomato paste. You cannot forget some tomato paste. You need tomato paste when you make, you can't forget tomato paste. You cannot forget tomato paste. Again, I'm using um, tomato paste for my sulfate. I love tomato paste on my food because it gives that little color. Some people don't put tomato paste, but I do. I'm putting about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Just give me enough color for my soul fish. Just two tablespoons. You don't have to put too much. Just two is good. From here, I'm gonna add half a cup of water um, because you wanna know something. I want the tomato paste to infuse with my fish, my peppers, my onions. I want them all to combine and come together. Because if it's dry like this, it will not come by. It will just, just be dry, like I'm frying up fish. Now that I add the water, just cover it up and let it simmer. On to pot number two. We are getting ready for the rice, baby. The rice. We, like we did the first step, we're gonna do the second step. I'm adding my oil, and um, it's two tablespoons, three tablespoons, don't know. I'm not judging. Remember, special sauce, it goes well on everything. From here, I'm adding two tablespoons of apis, special sauce. Right here, I am definitely adding mixed vegetables. You can find any kind of mixed vegetables. This is the one I got here from Dollar Tree. They always a dollar. I love these vegetables. They're very, very good. I'm getting you a little close up so you can see that I only have, uh, you know, corns, carrots, string beans, everything. From here, you cannot forget tomato paste. I'm adding tomato paste because I want a little color in my rice. My rice must be beautiful just as my meat. <laughs> so two tablespoons of tomato paste with the vegetable and the peas. There goes that tap tap again. Right now, I'm adding one and a half cup of water to my vegetable and um, so that everything could, could come to a boil so I can add my rice. Mix it, mix it very well so that the tomato paste doesn't stay in one position. Mix it, mix it very well. From here, I'm just adding a little bit of my thyme. You know I'm obsessed with thyme. So I'm just adding a little bit of my thyme in there just to give it a beautiful smell. I love the scent of thyme. Um, I love Maggie. <laughs> Here we go. I'm adding maybe one cube of Maggie. Um, I love this kind of brand of Maggie. It's a chicken brand. The chicken brand I get. Only. Here I'm adding some black pepper to my meal. I'm not using the red pepper flakes because the red pepper flakes give a different kick. This one gives a subtle kick. I want a very nice subtle kick, you know, like a subtle kick <laughs> in my rice. Because remember, I'm feeding this to my child. All right, so let's just go ahead and cover this up and let this boil so that we Les zombie. Hey, that's what I say when I uncover my food. This look beautiful. Look at how the 
um, tomato paste infused with the, the salt fish and you can see the red onions and the green peppers and the onions. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to get started with the rice. This is the brand of rice that I buy. I love Goya Thai Jasmine Rice. It's beautiful. It gives good flavor. It doesn't taste your food. I love it. So well, from here, I'm going to do two cup measurements of the jasmine rice. And um, I always measure my rice because what happens is if you overdo it, if you underdo it, it's going to be pasty or it's going to be crunchy. And I have a Haitian husband, honey. I don't want nobody talking about me. <laughs> and I don't want him to talk about me neither. <laughs> so I measure it out to be two cup total. Okay, from here, the water is boiling. As you can see, everything has emerged together. Make sure you taste your water. I know it's piping hot. Blow. Blow. Taste your food. Taste your food. Make sure that it tastes good. So I just tasted my meal, and I noticed that it needed a little bit of salt. So this is, a little, this is the salt that I use. I'm adding a little bit, not a lot. Not a lot. All right, we're about to add our homegirl to the pot. Yes, Jasmine. <laughs> I'm adding the whole two cups of Jasmine rice inside my vegetable rice um, stew. I make sure that it's all in there. Tap, tap, tap. I stir it in, and that's it. We're almost done. We're almost done, guys. Good job for staying this long. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Uh, it's really easy, and um, this is... This is how I measure out my rice. This is how I measure out my rice. I make sure that the water is even. It's not all the way to the tippy top and it's not under. I want to make sure my rice not being pasty. I forgot to tell you, this is my secret ingredient, golden ray. As you can see, it's destroyed, but that's what I use in my food. I'm just showing you a little bit of secret of what I use in my rice. Yes, I use butter, but this butter is flavored butter. So when you eat in your rice, you're going to be like, wow, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, every West Indian person knows about scotch bonnet pepper in their rice. You put this in your rice, your rice is going to smell good. But you got to make sure that the top doesn't come off because it's going to be spicy. But once you put that scotch bonnet in your rice, it's going to smell divine. That's it. That's all you got to do to have good rice. Cover it up and we're done, boo-boo. Look at that. Look at that. Look how is that. Come on. Come on. Come on. You made it all the way to 13 minutes of my video. Come on. I give you some good food. Good food. Sweetheart, if you're looking for a husband, if you desire a husband, this is how you get them. Cooking with love, with de dedication, with passion, with color. 